This video is about third and last lab of web sockets. Lab is a cross site web socket hijacking. Let's open this on workshop. So here we have live set. Yes. So here, what I want to show is you can see the web socket history and when the refresh client send ready message and then server reply back with all the history of messages. So to explore this. We can write malicious JavaScript that will be executed on victim so we can get all the nice history of messages. For that, let's write the JavaScript. First, to recreate new object for web socket. Socket. And the URL object. Web socket have WSS web socket to TSM TLS. Then WS dot and open is equal to answer. And ready. So to on this is event. Here now we have all the data of message and we will send it to the collaborator. https dot collaborator and method is post here we have to use mode no post because there is no access control policy implemented so if we want to send data from different origin we have to set this model and then last 
loading loading is equal to event reload data This is just to verify dr console.log to see if it is work store view exploit console here is all the data if we go into work collaborator here we have all the data so now payload is working perfectly fine deliver exploit to victim and again collaborator so this new entry is a victim we see the chest message hello from i forgot password no problem carlos it's and this is password so we know the username carlos and password is this let's see if we can log in carlos password login And we successfully log in to the Carlos by exploiting the pro site web socket vulnerability. First, we get the chat from the victim. There was username and password in the chat history. And using that, we log in. Here is the username and password. So that was it for this lab. Thank you.